Hey guys, Chamber Online here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are reviewing Lego Set 75955 from the Lego Harry Potter range. So this set was 74.99 off lego.com. Uh, the pieces you get is 801 pieces. The set number, of course, is set number 75955, and it's for ages 8 and well, 8 to 14, but I, I'd say above 14 is fine for this set because it can be quite complicated at times. And I will just say, whilst, well, before and probably whilst we're reviewing the set, well, whilst I'm reviewing the set, you're not going to be reviewing it, you're just going to be watching it. Um, whilst I review the set, and I am just going to say now as well that if, if you want to try and get back into LEGO with a set, this is the set to do it. Not the Lego track, that will come at a later date probably. But this Lego track was like 20 quid off Amazon or something like that. So yeah, that's Amazon UK. I don't know if you can get it in the US. I believe you should be able to. But I just don't know your prices in there. Well in the USA, because I don't live in the USA. So, should we have a look at platform 9, 10 and platform 9 and 3 quarters from King's Cross? I believe we should. So we'll look at them first, then look at minifigures. Um, spares, I can't remember what spares came with this set, so I've not dug them out. The set wants to come apart in places, so I'm going to have to grab it with two hands. Du, du, du. You can see it's quite big. So over here first, we have the platform nine and three quarters itself, and the camera's wanting to fall over. Blooming tripod. Um, I've not got a camera, still. I'm doing this one from the phone on a little tripod, which you can see in the mirror back there. Hello, me in the mirror. And you can see a lady over here in the coach. Just here and a man. Here, we'll get to the minifigures in a bit. But yes, these pieces here, if I can... <laughs> Sorry about the hand, guys, if I can get one. Um, they just say... It's the... I think the Daily Prophet, I do believe, exclusive Harry Potter, the boy who lived. And I'm not going to give any spoilers to to you, just in case there are some people out there who haven't watched the films. I've only watched the first two, and they're blooming incredible. They are incredible films, and I recommend you go and watch them, if you haven't seen them already. Because I, I didn't really like Harry Potter until I until I got this set. Because this set is, of course, uh, you may be able to see her come into shots. That's it, you can, you can see her in the mirror a bit better. Just there. It's the Hogwarts Express. Or Hogwarts Castle, but Hogwarts Express, as she's also known as. There's a bit there that was wonky. Oh well. We'll get to her in a bit, we'll, we'll break her down into three different parts, like not break the actual engine down, we'll just uncouple each bit and review them a, a bit in the station. And um, So yeah, there's platform line in three quarters. If you want someone to get from platform nine and ten to platform nine and three quarters, all you have to do is just go through this wall. Which is a good idea from Lego, but it can be a bit finicky sometimes. It can be a bit finicky and get stuck at times. Oh, it'll, it'll either get stuck down here or something, or it'll do that. So, oh, th these lamps are really good. They are. They're just little clips uh, on here, and then some amber or yellow uh, cylinder pieces with just studs on the bottom okay 
I'm sorry if the camera's wonky. I will say that now. Because it looks wonky to me, but it may look fine for you. I just don't know. We have a King's Cross sign here. And another little lantern here. Note, they're completely different, these lanterns. And you only get one for platform 9 and 10. And two for 9 and 3 quarters. Yeah. <laughs> someone's not paying 9 and 10 that much, and someone's paid 9 and 3 quarters a lot to get two on there. The clock it was a bit disappointing. Um, because it's just a sticker and then two spanner pieces so you can get the timing. I will just say now, whilst we look at the clock, and I should have said when the video started, this set was not give, given to me by Lego. This was given to me as a Christmas present uh, last year, I do believe. It was last year. I was thinking 2019, but no. It was given to me as a Christmas present uh, last year in 2020. So yeah. Uh, this footbridge is also a good bit of the build, but it can be a bit funny at times. Because it likes to break about here. So I'm going to have to try and support that in a, another way, if I can. If not, it's fine. It'll just have to break every single time I try to move it. Well, not every single time I try to move it, because I have them on shelves, which is fine. Because when, when it's on the shelf, the platform 9 and 3 quarters on is not out like that. It's in like that. But that bit, this bit here, likes to fall off that bit there. So, yeah. So, whilst we are in the station, should we have a look at some minifigures? And a trolley you get with the set. I think we should. Well, one out of two trolleys, even. This camera does not... Well, this tripod does not look like this sort of thing. There, stay. Until I need to change it again. So this is the little trolley, well one of two trolleys you get with the set. Uh, it has Ronald's rat on here, or Ronald's mouse. I can't remember whether it's a rat or a mouse. I believe it's a mouse. Because a rat is just... Uh, you, may have, you may have seen there, were, there was a briefcase that just fell off. I will just show you the briefcases. Because they're good things on Lego. If I can get one open... There we are. They're just like that when they come. So you have to literally just do that. And there's about three of them within this set. It's a Ronald's mouse and that. We'll go over there. I hope it's a mouse. Someone let me know in the comments below. Yeah, if it's if it's not a mouse and it's a rat, let me know in the comments below. If it is a mouse, just let me know that I've got it right, please. Because I can't remember whether it's a mouse or not. Uh, we have here a. Let me just look at the. So I, I have the cardboard still that have the names of the, the minifigures on here. Because there's one I don't remember. And it's him. <laughs> I don't remember him at all. Even though I think I've seen him in the films now. Even though I've only watched the first two. I'll have to see when he comes about and tell you guys. Uh, this is a Dementor. Yes, I got that right first time. Um, yeah, he is a very, it's a very good little build, the Dementor, because that's just the head, that there. Uh, this is his mask, which is a moulded piece, obviously. Um, the cape's a bit annoying at times, because you've got to fold it over onto itself to go under the head. So, yeah. Sorry, my thumb was in the way there. Um, I love this little see-through bit on the bottom in case of legs because it makes it look like he's floating. So I just, if I can get it off, I don't think I will be able to, but if I can, I will. Now, I can't get it off of 
I can't get it off him without him breaking. So, oh, his cape's gone off him. Must be scared. Put it down. Throw your backside up. <laughs> I don't make myself laugh. Um, yeah, that is a good little piece. If you want your dementors to seem like they're just floating without anything. Holding them up. So he's gonna go up here and probably scare Harry Potter. Come on, stand up. Stand up for me. Thank you. Right, I'll uncouple the coach. Because we'll look at the coach first, because trains last. Because we have minifigures in the coach. Right, a bitch just got stuck in a stuck in the coach's coupling. That bit got stuck in there. And it really needs to be in this last bit. Uh just there where my finger is. So if I put it in, it should be in there. So you get uh it's a couple to the train. Oh, you just have to go off camera derailed. <laughs> da, 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 da. And I know I should edit this out, but I just don't know how to edit at the moment. So, yeah. So this is the coach. From Lego Harry Potter. I'm just going to move that to the left a bit so I can get my hand in better. So this is the one coach that you get with the set. Uh, these windows will open out if I can get into one. Ah, there we are. I'll move it round on Harry's side and Hermione's side. These windows open out. Should we get the minifigures out then? I think we should. So the way this works is the roof comes off. Yeah. That comes off, and then you may be thinking, oh, you have to tip it like this to get minifigures in and out. There's your other briefcase, it's with that dude. But yeah, you don't have to um, turn it on its side to get minifigures in and out. If I just put this back on the track, you take that side off to get the minifigures in and out. You may have just seen, I've just put them in shot still. Get out of shot, you. Go on, out of the shot. Thank you. Uh, we'll go... Uh, we'll go with the trolley first. Go over there, then. No, go over there. If that moves again, let me know. <laughs> let me know when it moved again, because I probably won't notice it. So yes, this is the trolley witch's trolley, so she can do her rounds. I've noticed I've put that on wonky. Uh, yeah, it's on wonky. Oh dear. I was probably too tired Christmas Day, or Boxing Day, when I built this. As uh, I noticed that. But yes, so we have uh, a box which is supposed to be the... Oh God. Can't remember it, but I know it's something to do with beans. Oh yeah, Birdie Bots, every flavour of beans. That's what that is supposed to be. Then we have a chocolate frog. There we are, you can see it better now. Chocolate frog. I think that's supposed to represent the, the Birdie Bots, every flavour of beans as well. And that's supposed to be the box for them. Yeah, I do like these gold bits here. Not actual gold, but yeah. Then, then this would be ugh, too heavy. But yeah. These are my actual wheels down here. I will just say that now for anything. Like a trolley, they're not actual wheels. Um, probably should have expressed, well, probably should have said that before because they are literally just that. Okay, they're just that. Just two of them on here. I think Ronald's is different. I could be wrong. Uh, if I get one off, 
on that part. That's the same. Right, now to put the mouse back on. I hope it's a mouse. I don't know why I'm talking like this. Do, 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 do. I swear I've heard that before, so that's copyrighted. Great. Uh, well, we we'll just talked about the trolley witch, so we'll do the trolley witch next. Then we'll do him. Then Ronald, then Hermione, then Bess, uh, the last Harry Potter. Something want to say then now. Yeah, this is the trolley witch. She started life um, working on this train, doing the, doing the trolley rounds. Um, oh god, when was the first film set? I probably should have researched this beforehand, but yeah. I I think she well she started life when the first film was set and w when it was filmed, and she was supposed to retire in twenty twenty last year. I don't know if she did or not, but if she did, good on her, which would make her about seventy four, I do believe. Oh, I'm so old. Yes, you are. So yes, it's just grey-haired woman. I think she's oh she's two-faced. I'm not going to say what people are thinking, so that's not happening. But yeah, she's a two-faced woman. She has either that shocked face or screaming face, or this face. And I just had her on this face because I thought it looked nicer. Uh, the print in there, it looks like she's got something under her shirt, or that may just be the back of the, of the waistcoat thin. It's there as well. Oh, hello. It looks like she's got a gold necklace on. Don't know if you can see that or not. If it wants to focus. It looks like she's got a gold necklace on. She probably has. I'll put her up there for now. Again, another briefcase. Wingardium Leviosa. No. <laughs> um, this is... Remus Lupin, or Remus Lupin, however you want to pronounce his name. He is, he is one of the teachers from Hogwarts. The ones are literally just... They're literally just that. So all ones are like that, but they can be different colours. Like Hermione's got a different coloured wand. And how they fit on is... Like that, really. I don't know if he's two. He's got two faces. Oh, yeah. He can either have this face, or he can have that much scarier face. I'm not going to show that too long, in case kids are watching. So, yeah. The printing on the back is good. Uh, printing on the front is also good. But he's a bit scruffy. That would probably explain this face but get your hair sorted man so yeah, just normal uh, legs with the holes in the back so you can sit down like so I'm actually going to keep him sat there because we are now going to move on to Ron Weasley you may have noticed it was just standing in the train That face says he's seen that guy's second face. So yeah, he's got the same coloured wand as this other blog, I think. You guys can't see that far back. I do believe they're the same colour. Correct me if I'm wrong. Nope, they are. They are the same colour indeed. So it's 
it's 25 to 10 at night when I'm filming this. So, yeah. So, I've got to do this quick. Um, yeah. The printing on the torso of Ronald is quite good on, well, on the front of the torso. Then it's just the same kind of print on the back, but without showing his red shirt off underneath. Does he have two faces? Oh, yeah. He either has that face... Or he has that face. I'll just put him with that face because any other Ronald I've got, I've put it with the smiley one. So I just have a different Ronald. Who I'm going to put up there. Now we move on to Hermione Granger. Who has got her wand stuck in the window. There we go. Wasn't so hard, was it, Hermione? Because Harry's the only one left, I'll put him over there for now. Yes, yeah, so this is Hermione Granger. Again, short legs, just like Ronald Weasley. Because they're not adults now. You can see with the with, with the trolley witch. She's got the adult legs, Ronald Weasley and Hermione. And Harry have all got child legs. I love that jumper she's wearing. She's the only one with that sort of coloured wand. And she's the only one who has a wand like that. All the others have theirs hold them with that which I couldn't get to hold it before I don't think oh now I can I just have to push it a bit harder does she have two faces yeah she has a worried sort of face she's got a ginger beard by the looks of it how about that then Hermione Granger's got a ginger beard does she have that on the other side yeah, it may just be part of the lip. I'm not too sure. I have just noticed on the instruction box, well, on the instruction book even, I'll just move that back. You can see it in a shot a bit. If I come to, back to the instructions, Hermione has got that little ginger patch there. Where do you build her? Size and bag three, four, or five. I'm thinking it's somewhere with the train. Bag five. Yeah, bag five with the tender. She has that again in the instructions just there. And just there, and yeah, it's just like a book sort of thing, the instructions is. But it's in the shape of an actual book this time. Uh, do I have one to spare near me? I do. Hmm, that's handy. Oh, that's F3. To spare. Which one should I go with? I'll tease this for the next time. Because they're usually like this, the Lego instruction books. No, it's not a review within a review. Just to make that absolutely clear first. Uh, I have a box instruction book, so I'll probably show you that one day. Actually, no, I will show you it one day. But they're going just somewhere now on the floor. Whilst I review the little Hermione Granger still. So yeah, I love that jumper. Uh, love the colour of the wand. She's the only one with a different coloured wand. Yeah, the, the printing on the back of her is very good because she's got a bit of a hood there as well so yeah i love the little pocket she's got on the front as well she can stand there and last but no means least the favorite one of mine is harry potter so yeah he's got that sort of thing i've just noticed he wasn't put together properly 
Was her mind you put together properly? Please say she was. No, she still had a bit of a gap. Ronald, sorry about this, guys. Ronald sort of was. Ronald sort of was put together properly. What about this man? Yep, he was put together properly. So I just noticed a bit of a gap with Harry, so now I need to check all minifigures. And yeah, she was put together properly. So her and my, so Harry and Hermione were not put together properly. Hmm, I blame me for that one because I built them. So this is Harry Potter. He's got sort of a dark oak wand. I love that hoodie effect. And then the little, well, then the top behind it. He's got a hood up there as well. Again, kid legs, but never mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got his scar on the leg of minifigures. Uh, head as well. Got his little scar that he got with uh, Voldemort, I do believe it was. And that's all I'm saying. Yeah, he's got it on the other side, so... Well, of course he has. He didn't actually have it on both sides in real life, it's just... Because he's a double-faced minifigure. You have to have it on this side as well as the other side, just in case you have this face instead of that face. So yeah, that is kind of a more shocked face. He's probably just seen Dementor. <laughs> but yeah. Um, all minifigures were very good in this set, and they still are. If you can pick some Harry Potter minifigures up uh, to this day, do, because they're amazing. But we will just look at the inside of the train, well, inside of the carriage now. So that is where all four minifigures were sitting, the, and you may be thinking, there were six. Where did the other two go? Well, the Dementor I just have on the platform where they're all standing now. Not where the Trolley Witch and Ron Weasley is standing, but somewhere where ha Hermione, Harry, or he is sitting. Kind of like there-ish. So it's where Hermione is standing, but like back here or something. But yeah, that's where I have Harry Potter. In fact, if I put this on the tracks and then get the minifigures, I'll show you how I line these up. So I have Harry here. That's why I have them like that, so I can get them on. So I put Harry there. Then Hermione comes into play. I know she didn't actually sit with Harry in the film, but... It seems like they may get in a love situation one day in the film. I've not watched far enough into it yet. Because remember, I'm only still on the second. Going into the third one tomorrow, I think I might. So I'm hoping those two get together. If they don't, I'm not going to be disappointed because I don't expect it. Just wishful thinking if they would. Then I have Ronald here, so let me just run by this again. Harry, then Hermione, then Ronald Weasley, then him. Uh, Remus, I'll call him. I'll call him Remus. I'm sorry if that offends you for me not saying... So. Uh, for me not saying his name right, but I don't give him monkeys. And that briefcase goes between them. Oh, come on, you silly thin. Oh, you're going to lay there then. Then we have the trolley, which is trolley. Goes in here. I love this being on the tracks. Then the trolley witch herself. Uh, sort of. You have these things on the end of the seats. So I just put her in here. And just have her standing like that. Hopefully it's not too high. Then we put the windows on. Well, put the windows back on even. And then we put the roof back on. Where's that going? So it's only these four uh, kind of studs on the 
on the top. Right, this is going to have to be quick now, these last two bits. Oh, these Discord notifications are annoying. Right, 30 minutes is where I usually stop. But I haven't today, because this is a bit of a bigger set than usual. I know. And I knew it was going to have to be reviewed at some point. This is the tender. Yeah, stickers, you can see. There were loads of stickers in the set. The clock said was a sticker. The Kings Cross sign was a sticker. Uh, Platform 9 and 10, they were stickers. Sticker. Uh, they were printed pieces, thankfully. That's a sticker. There's not one on the other side, thankfully. I should have just said, there's not one on the other side, thankfully. Or done that. Yeah, sticker here. Sticker here. If you like stickers, then this is the set for you. If you don't, don't buy this set. But if you like Harry Potter, buy this set. So yeah, a, a steam engine's tender. This is, because the Hogwarts Express is a steam engine. And steam engines are better than diesels. In all ways. So yeah, that is where the coal would go in there. The water would go in the tender as well, but they haven't put anywhere for the water to go. So you kind of have to pretend that the water would go in the tender with it. Something looks like it's missing from there. I'll check the instruction book now and find out if I was meant to put something there. No, apparently that is correct, just having a stud there on each side. Apparently that is correct. Yeah, apparently that's correct. I don't think it should be, so I'm going to uh, put two flat pieces here, if I can find two flat pieces. Just to make it look fluent and nice. Because I think Lego should have done that in the first place. So I'm going to have to do it in my spare time. And update you when it's done. Yeah, that is the tender. Not much to say about it. But we now get on to the train herself. As you can see, Hogwarts Express. Thankfully, that was printed. I do believe. Yep, that was printed on. That was a sticker. Uh, that was printed on. See, Hogwarts Express 5972. The real train is up in Scotland at the moment and will always be there. Again, printed sticker. And there was a replica, because they built two. One was a replica, one that they actually used for filming. I think they used both, both for filming, but yeah. Uh, the replica is down in London at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Or the real one is up in Scotland. I can't remember where though. So I will let you know on that in the, in the description or in, or in another video. But yeah, uh, that's, I want to say her whistle, but that also could be her whistle. A funnel, steam valve, I'm going to say there's steam valves and that's her whistle. Actually no, that would be a lamp. But these are lamps here. Right, I will watch the film again when I next see her. When I next see her, I'll know if that's a whistle or if that's the lamp. I believe it's a lamp, and that's the whistle there. Because that's a steam valve, and that's your steam funnel, obviously. That's where the steam comes out. If you if you know steam engines, you'll know all this sort of stuff. There are two lights down there. But yeah, if on a real steam engine... Uh, the fireman would open this up at the end of there to get all the ashes out. But you can't really open this really well. Or that well even. Or we'll get it off that well. Because you can't really open it because it's like that. It's just a rounded piece. Yeah. Oh, there's something on this side. I can't read that at all. I don't think you could either. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a look at the cab, shall we? We'll be the driver, shall we? So yes, we have the gauges. Um, where are the... I can't get my fingers in. 
we have the gauges uh, here and the one on the other side. I've put it on wonky, I've just seen. Uh, these are valves openings here, I do believe, I want to say. Uh, handles, that's the firebox, so that's where the coal would go in. But yeah, I think one's fire pressure and one's steam pressure, I do not know. Or the other one could be water pressure. One of them's steam pressure and one of them's water pressure. Or, um, fire pressure. I don't know, but yeah. So yeah, this is a really good set. It's a really good set. And if you have Lego track like I have, then you should get this set. You should get it. Or if you don't have Lego track, you should still get it if you want to get back into Lego. If you haven't built Lego for a while. I'll, sh I'll show you how I couple it up, shall I? Or how it, how it couples. Yeah, because it's a review. I should do that. So you have these on the tender. You have to get them into these little holes on here. You push it down and it should go in and not derail the tender. I'll show you again with the coach. Yeah, they're buffers there on there. Oh, they're just random things made to look like buffers. Yeah, you see that thing there. Tender comes along and couples onto it. So yeah, that was my review on the Lego Hogwarts Express. So thank you for watching the video, guys. Um, if you liked it, give a thumbs up, comment down below of what you thought of the video and click uh, click that red subscribe button just down below just down there click it and um, tell me if you liked the video if you did uh, tell me what you liked and why you liked it if you didn't uh, just give me some feedback on what I can improve on and remember as always if you want to dislike the video you have to give it two thumbs down to dislike the video so let's watch the train depart shall we And she's off to Hogwarts. Don't matter if she's not out of shot, because I'm going to bring her back in shot now. She's forgotten someone. Probably. It's most likely going to be the luggage that she forgot. Because <laughs> I forgot to put it in. Because there's nowhere to put it in within the train. I'll, I'll find a place somewhere for it. Even if it has to go in the tender, because that can lift up. That coal can, for some reason. Even if it has to go in there, it will. It'll just sit on the platform for now. But yeah. Uh, hopefully you liked the video. If you did, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Like the video. Uh, subscribe. And comment down below. Uh, if you liked it. And comment down below if you didn't like it still. Just to tell me what I can improve on. I, I, I like playing with it. I'm sorry that I'm moving it about so much. But yeah. So this has been the Lego review, well, the, the review of the Lego Harry Potter set seven five nine five five. As I said, it's seventy four ninety nine. It's eight hundred and one pieces from the Lego Harry Potter range. So, see you later. Uh, see you later, guys.